Surprise! Electric vehicle driving range is even worse than advertised. While electric vehicle manufacturers have exaggerated the driving range of their vehicles, sometimes by more than twice as much as advertised, according to a study for the SAE, which is the Society of Automotive Engineers, and I am a member. On average, electric vehicles fall short of their advertised range by 12.5%. According to the Society of Automotive Engineers study, the study includes 21 different brands and revealed that electric vehicle manufacturers as a whole inflate the range of their vehicles far beyond their actual capabilities. The Tesla seems to be inflating the numbers by far more than other brands, and the range displayed on the Tesla vehicle's dashboard is 26% lower than the car's ability. And Tesla even created a secret team to suppress thousands of driving range complaints online. And Tesla rigged the dashboard readings in its electric vehicles to provide, in quote, rosy projections of how far owners can drive before needing to recharge. That's a, from a source who to told Reuters. Has Tesla been tricking its customers all along? Hmm. Anyone who knows anything about electric cars is aware of their number one problem, driving range. Many electric vehicles can't travel very far before needing a charge. Well, in the same way a fuel gauge leads you to know when you need to fill up, electric vehicles have in-dash sensors that project how much driving range is left in the vehicles. So what's the truth? Last year, Tesla became so inundated with driving range complaints that it created a special team to cancel owner's service appointments that led to a slew of service requests from Tesla customers. Though employees often deny these requests because the batteries did not need to be fixed, they were just operating at a level far below advertised. Hmm. And Tesla employees were informed that they can save their company $1,000 every time they turn down a service request, and that's according to Reuters. The worst part of the so-called diversion team is that members would celebrate cancellations by striking a metal xylophone and applauding. Lovely. And Reuters could not establish how long that practice had continued, but Tesla recently stopped using its diversion team in Nevada to handle range-related complaints, according to a person familiar with the matter. Virtual service advisors in an office in Utah are now handling all the range cases, and the person said, that they could not determine why that change was made. Well, Reuters looked into it and they couldn't find out either, which means someone internally will have to leak that. On top of all the many mainstream news outlets that are reporting that extreme heat can affect how far an electric vehicle travels on a charge, which is true, EV range begins to drop at a temperature of 85 degrees, according to a new study from the Seattle-based Battery Health Company. And that's also true with very cold temperatures. And they found that the range decrease is an average of 5% at 90 degrees and 31% at 100 degrees. How much range a vehicle loses in extreme heat varies by model. At a temperature of 90 degrees, the Ford Mach-E and the F-150 Lightning lost the range by just 1% compared to EPA estimates, where the Nissan Leaf lost 22%, the Chevy Bolt lost 9%, the Hyundai Kona lost 5%, and most Teslas got only 60% of the EPA estimated range, even in moderate temperatures of 60 degrees. Proving that Tesla isn't the only automaker with cars that don't regularly achieve their advertised ranges, Gregory Pannone, who is the co-author of the study of 21 different brands of electric vehicles, which he published in April in the SAE International and Engineering Organization, which I said I am a member of, the research found that on average, the cars fell short of their advertising ranges by 12.5% in highway driving. The exaggerated range can be attributed to the testing procedures prescribed by the EPA, according to Reuters, although most manufacturers follow the guidelines, and Tesla uses additional testing that may boost the car's purported range. I'm not suggesting that they're cheating. What they're doing, at least minimally, is leveraging current procedures more than other manufacturers, said Gregory Pannone, an expert on electric vehicles. This is not Tesla's first time. Tesla has been accused of such transgressions in the past, and South Korean regulators fined Tesla $2.1 million for exaggerating their performance range of their vehicles back in 2019. And the fine came after it was discovered that Tesla cars drove half of their advertised distance when used in cold weather. Interesting. Whatever an automaker decides, the EPA must approve the window sticker numbers. 
This could be a big part of the problem, but it's also false advertising, and you're the one paying the price. And Tesla has been manipulating its own car dashboard readouts for roughly 10 years. And the reason for this alleged lie? Well, to boost electric vehicle sales, according to investigations. Electric vehicle automakers sold drivers on the myth that they could save the planet without changing any of their driving habits. Well, according to this SAE study, all they had to do was pay for the range that didn't actually exist. Do your homework before you make a purchase of an electric vehicle or literally any vehicle. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, because I'm sure you will, I'll be happy to answer. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, our social media, our podcast, and my book. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.